Hey guys, it's Erin. I'm back and I'm getting requests to do more vlogs. And that was always like the intention, but I thought like, what do you guys exactly want to see? And I thought, let me just record something that I would want to see. So I'm going to show you one of Morocco's little, like little supermarkets that, um, like it's small. If I had to compare it to something from like Aldi's, like in America, I would say Aldi's, but on a much smaller scale. Um, but they have a little bit of everything. Um, not really meats per se. Like, I mean, they have like some frozen stuff, no meats, but like your canned goods, your snacks. But what they're, I actually go to, to them a lot for is they actually have their own little oven. And two times a day, I believe it's like, when they open and then again at five o'clock, they bake breads and these croissants and they make these other things. They're like flatter than a croissant and there's chocolate in it. And guys, like, I'm actually cannot wait. So I'm actually, you saw the time that it was like six o'clock, which is about an hour after they made them. So they'll, if they're still on, he left, they're gonna be super, super good. So I figured, let me, show you this little Moroccan supermarket that is in every neighborhood as far as I know. Every city I have been to, there is one. And my neighborhood actually has probably like three within walking distance. Don't ask, tell my kids that, they'll say it's not walking distance, but there's easily three that are in pretty close to our house. Um, one of them, the one that I'm at right now, is only like three blocks away. But um, yeah, so I wanna show you uh, the supermarket and it's called BIM. See it right there? BIM. All right, let's go check it out. So look, they have like their weekly specials out here. I don't think I've ever really looked at them too much because I just kind of go in for what I need. Um, but yeah, they have their specials. Kind of like Aldi's, like sometimes when you, when they have special stuff that they don't always have. Is that a washing machine? Okay. I never saw a washing machine here, but apparently they have a washing machine and dryer. Or it's a two-in-one. So that is their special, what is that? Oh, it's a baby bag. Oh, those are kind of cute. All right, let's go in and check it out. All right, guys, good news. They have them and there's still quite a bit left. So I'm, let's, I'll show you what they look like. All right, so there is the oven. And like I said, two times a day they make them. And the ones that I am addicted to are those. I have no idea what they are. If you know, drop the name in the comments and let me know what they are because they're so good. But they also make the breads. See, like this was all filled earlier, like an hour ago. And now it's almost empty. But yeah, they're so good. All right, so if you walk in, they actually have most of their like specials right up front, like stuff that they normally, they don't have like regular spots for. And sometimes it's snacks, candies. At the holiday times, they had um, like Christmas candies and stuff, but yeah. Oh, they have umbrellas. I actually just bought two at the Medina when I went the other day. So here is their like, there's some bread. Believe it or not, a lot of, not a lot of people buy the, regular sliced bread it's not a thing here really that much but they still carry it they're big on the um uh pizza things and the tortillas tortillas are big hamburger buns coffee these things are so good these are the madelines these ones are pretty good but my kids love the brownie ones these are the brownies you get how many you get so it's a base it's 17 almost 18 durhams and you get how many? Six. And in 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 uh, U.S. dollars, that's about a dollar eighty. So for six brownies, they have coffee. Oh, guys! So I saw a TikTok like a little while ago, using this instant coffee and making the best iced coffee. And I think I'll show you guys in another video the easy way to make your at-home iced coffee. That's actually so good using that all right so they have all different stuff oh what's this i don't know all right so they have oils cereals cameron likes the cereal it's almost like a um it's almost like a sweeter version of corn pops no not corn pops honey smacks you guys know honey smacks this is what cameron she likes this one so yeah and then they have more peanut butter, 
Look, doesn't it look like Skippy? It looks like Skippy peanut butter. Like the label. There's so many labels here. I don't know if they're partially owned by the companies, but they seriously look like American brands. Lots of snacks, lots of snacks, individual snacks. And if you want to see the prices, so you're looking at two Durham's, a snack, which is like 20 cents. These are all under two Durham's. My kids like these, except they like the regular ones. These are dark chocolate. They like the regular ones. They do have Lay's, see? They have Lay's. Um, we like these crackers. We love these. Cameron likes the plain. I like the sour cream and onion. Oreos. They do have quite a few brands that are American. Pringles. My kids love the Pringles. And then if we go around, they have all their flowers and stuff down there. Waters. Lots and lots of water. Jack likes this flavored water. I don't buy it for him a lot because, let's face it, you should just drink regular water. But once every few days or something, I'll get him one of these. So, well, not gonna get him one today though because he had one earlier. So, um, more water, more water. Oh, look, giant TV. And to get an idea, that is approximately 600 dirt. Uh, that's 6,000 dirhams, which is 600 US dollars. I don't know anything about the TVs here. Um, but yeah, more oil. Kilb. I think this is, no, this is Kilb? No. Kilib. Kilib. Milk. Kilib. And then of course you have your couscouses. Okay, so one of the things you need for the iced coffee I see this one and I need this anyway, but I'm gonna try it with this one, but I actually just use regular milk. But the TikTok that I saw, the girl was in Morocco and she actually used this one. So we're gonna buy it and try it, but if not, I'll have my backup of regular milk. Couscous pasta, Cameron wanted spaghetti, so we're gonna get some spaghetti. I don't know what brands are good, I just buy. This looks Italian, so we'll get the one that looks Italian. And this is, 19 and a half dirhams, which is about $1.95. So yeah, this is actually a little bit more than America. Actually, I don't know, because I haven't been in America for a while. But couscous, more, more, more. Rice, you got your rices, all your pastas. And then you've got yogurt, milks, cheeses, fromage, butter. Lots and lots of yogurts. They love their yogurt here. Okay, so these things right here, we got introduced to these as soon as we moved here. And you would think that it's a drinkable yogurt, basically, and it's pomegranate. And basically, you would think you would just peel this open, right? Because it's, you know, you peel it open, drink it. No, the kids here turn it, bite the tip right here, and then they suck it. That's how they do it here. And I was not sure about that at first, but that's how they do it, and they like it. And everyone does it like that. So, so you got more more cheeses, individual juice boxes, 20 cent juice boxes. Um, these are really good. I like these. They're like flavored yogurt, like drinkable yogurt. Um, oh, this stuff is my favorite. This one right here, specifically lemon. It is, I don't know what it is exactly. It's like a drinkable yogurt, but it's so good. They drink this one, I'm gonna get that. This is the one that they drink with couscous. I've tried it, it tastes sour, I don't like it, um, but it's very popular here to drink with the uh, couscous. So I did say that they don't have like this, they don't have any meats or anything like that, but they do have some frozen stuff, like they have french fries, they have frozen shrimp, more fries, they love their french fries here. There's like a mix of um, seafood stuff, I'm not sure what all that is, probably like shrimp and uh, it looks like octopus in there. Then, right over here, ice cream. They're, they love their ice cream here, and they have lots and lots of different kinds. Um, a real big popular brand here, but it's actually kind of expensive. I mean, it's expensive in America too, but Magnum. Magnum is very big here. Um, yeah, They sell a lot of things individual. See how like they have small sodas? They sell a lot of 
uh, drinks individual. You could buy a single yogurt. You don't need to buy a whole pack. Look, Lipton for America, Lipton. We have Le of Listerine, Colgate, see, Gillette. They have a lot of brands that we have in America. You know, look, Venus, one, Venus razors. Oh, okay, they do have meat. I didn't even realize this before, they're frozen, but why are you gonna get, get some frozen meat when you can go right down the street and go to the butcher and get, you know, fresh meat, you know? All right, guys, so we're gonna see how much all this costs. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be way cheaper than like if I was in America, but I think it's gonna be around 15, 150 dirhams, maybe, we'll see. All right, guys. I got a little weak at the, you know, like just like in America when you're at the checkout and like you see something you want. And then in my case, it was a Snickers bar, a bounty bar and two candies for the kids. So my total actually ended up being 211 dirhams, which is approximately $21 in, Amer in, in, in US dollars. And I got, I don't know if this receipt tells you how much items I got. Look, these cats, I swear, these cats just smell me and they know like, oh, she's somebody that feeds cats. Cause look, see them? All right, so how many items does it tell you? Oh, I did, I got 24 items. Cereal, yogurt, uh, candy bars, plastic plates. I know, I know, I know people, I know. Um. I got so much stuff, guys. 24 items for $21 at BIM, Morocco's little corner, little like supermarket that's in all the neighborhoods that I've been in. Every city I think I've been to, there's been a BIM. If that is not correct, I need someone to comment below and let me know if there is a city in Morocco that does not have BIM. So, all right, guys, that is my blog, vlog. Uh, hope you enjoyed my presentation of BIM. Bye, guys.